Well, we know St. Louis is a sports town and it has always been a soccer town. Tomorrow night, City SC kicks off its MLS season against Real Salt Lake. Fox 2 meteorologist Jamie Travers is outside City Park with a look at the excitement. Jamie? Yeah, well, uh, it, it, the city's been getting ready for t the tomorrow's big day, but the weather making it hard for me to talk. It's going to be a little bit chillier than what we've been getting used to. There's going to be uh, most of the day will be spent in the 40s. So if you're going to bring out the family, you're going to want to make sure that you have some extra layers for everybody. Now there's a free block party ahead of the game. City SC Chief Experience Officer uh, Matt Seebeck announced that St. Louis native Smino will be performing at City SC's first city block party of the 2024 season. Seebeck said that their music strategy this year supports their belief that St. Louis is an amazing place to start up, stand out, and stay. And to be able to bring those principles into a fan experience that you've heard about, you've read about, perhaps you've participated in it, um, that fan experience is one that is unapologetically St. Louis. Um, and we believe we're creating a, a bit of a new language built on pride and passion, not just for soccer fans, but for the region. The block party will be taking place on the Lou Fuse Plaza tomorrow at 4 before the kickoff of the club's MLS home opener at 7.30. We spent some of the afternoon outside of the fan store across from the stadium and spoke with some of those fans. There's a lot of excitement around tomorrow's big day. I'm super pumped. I uh, love everything St. Louis and uh, excited to kick off another good year. Just the environment that it brings, uh, it brings the whole city together um, for you know a lot of fun and a lot of, um, yeah, just entertainment. Again, you don't need a ticket to attend that block party. There'll be food, drinks, games, and giveaways. And also, there will be a free watch party on the plaza for those fans that do not have tickets to the game. Reporting outside of City Park in downtown St. Louis, meteorologist Jamie Travers, Fox 2 News.